guys welcome back to my channel today I am doing a tutorial that I've been wanting to do for a very 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 long time I've always been fascinated with cosplay makeup with costume makeup I was in theater all throughout high school so working with costume makeup is something very normal but I crossed over to the world of cosplay when I started going to uh, conventions such as Megacon and so far the only convention that I have been to for a couple of years or so, actually no several years in a row now has been the Megacon convention it is in Orlando, Florida, and now it has trickled its way down to Tampa, Florida. So now there are two Megacons in the entire year, which is amazing. There's one in Orlando, and more during the summertime, like in May, and then one in the fall, uh, September or around October in Tampa. Today's tutorial is going to be on Ariel's cosplay makeup. I have worked very, very hard in trying to perfect her look, her makeup, her eyeshadow, her just her persona, everything about Ariel. That way when I went to a convention, I could be extremely, extremely believable. So if you want to know how to look like Ariel um, in makeup and costume makeup, well, hang on tight, join the ride, get some popcorn, get something to drink, because it's going to be quite a transformation. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already. And don't forget to follow me on all my social media, Snapchat, Instagram, all that jazz, okay? So come with me under the sea. So first things first, I'm going to put my wig cap on because I like getting this on first. That way my hair does not get all into the makeup. Okay, so first things first, we got our wig cap on and yes, we look super funny right now, but it's all going to come together, I promise. And we need to change the color of our eyebrows and we're going to use an Elmer's glue stick. Yes, this works into changing your eyebrows, especially since I have really, really dark eyebrows. So you, all you need is an Elmer's glue stick. You need an angled brush and a palette, an eyeshadow palette specifically with some sort of red colors in them. That way the um, eyeshadow can adhere to the glue stick and trust me it's washable, it's the Elmer's glue stick. And um, you can get the eyeshadow to stick on there, therefore changing the color of your eyebrows. we're gonna work on our eyeshadow and we're gonna kind of go uh, not in order here like you can see I did brows first um, because I want to get that color in there first and then I go for the eyes and then the face and then we kind of finish up the eyes and give like all the finishing touches okay so bear with me please we're gonna prime our eyes and all I'm gonna use is concealer a really nice light concealer because remember we are going for Ariel's look so she's very fair skin we're going for a nice light concealer um, and then something that will match her skin tone because I am going to be changing my skin tone And then all I'm going to do is set my eyes with um, Airspun face powder. It's a loose, 
translucent powder. I use it pretty much like all the time. So the eye look that I'm going to give Ariel today is not going to be a very neutral look. I really want to embrace the pinks and purples that um, she has, especially in her in her hair, her pink dress, because that's the costume that I have specifically, is um, her big pink ball gown. So the look I really want to embrace is a very nice, shimmery, beautiful, like a mix of purple and pink together. I feel that will really, really just make everything just pop, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and do my eyes, and the palettes that I'm going to be using today is the BH Cosmetics foil palette because I want to use that purple right over here is just calling to me I want to use that purple right there and I'm going to go back into the 120 color eyeshadow palette from BH Cosmetics This is the fifth edition because there are other pinks and purples that I want to use and incorporate as well so we're mainly going for pinks and purples and a good amount of shimmer in here okay Okay, so the eyes are done, and I also added a little bit of gel liner, and just enough to make a small wing. You can make the wing longer or bigger if you want, but personally, since we're going for the princess look, you want the eyes to really be the focus. You don't want to take away from the eyeshadow uh, by putting on too much gel liner, but if uh, you're interested, I'm using Maybelline's gel liner in Black is Black, and next we're going to put on some false lashes and the lashes that I'm going to be using because every Disney princess has those big, beautiful, luscious eyes, especially those lashes and everything. So the lashes I'm going to be using are from the brand Kiss. You can find them at the drugstore and they are part of their uh, mink collection. They're the, uh, let me grab it for you. They're the Lash Couture in the, sh 
I was gonna say in the shade, uh, Lash Couture from their foaming collection, and the uh, lashes are called a little black dress. Okay, now it's time to move on to the face, which is probably the most drastic part of this entire process um, because I am very olive to tan skin tone versus Ariel. She's very fair and very pale. So what we're going to do is we're going to work some makeup magic here. So it's pretty simple with the eyes and the brows. It's easy to get uh, get onto it so far, but this is where it really takes a, um, a turn. So I'm going to be using Derma Blend's hand, oh not hand, sorry, leg and body cover. And this is in the shade Light. This brand, Derma Blend, it's amazing. It covers up all of like acne scarring and their foundation is just phenomenal. I have their foundation, it's awesome. But this one, the leg and body cover, it's used to cover up tattoos and make it like completely, you know, like it looks like it's gone um, and you just have skin there. So because this is very skin-like, we're gonna be using this to, to change my skin tone today. If you want to bake your entire face that way it stays on all day long and I'm going to go back in with the air spun and powder now I know Ariel is not this extremely pale the light is making it look a lot lighter than what it looks in person it actually does look like a decent you know fair skin tone but um, with a little bit of bronzer uh, not a whole lot just a little bit of bronzer to help fix the extreme, you know, lightness going on. Okay, next we're going to use a little bit of bronzer. I know Ariel doesn't really bronze. Um, or use bronzer. She's not really tan. Um, but we're, what we're going to do is because of all of this makeup going on here, you kind of lose the features of the face. And I still want the um, the features to be defined. Okay, so um, just mainly like the jawline and a little bit on the edges of the face. Next we're going to finish up the eyes and to get those really big princessy eyes we're going to um, use a white eyeliner on our waterline just to really open up the eyes so they're not closed in, they're more open. And I'm using NYX Jumbo Eyeliner Pencil in the shade, what is this? In the shade Milk. And then we're going to take a little bit of our purple eyeshadow that we use on 
the outer corners of our lids and put it on the bottom lash line. And then finish it off with some mascara on the bottom lashes. We're going to highlight the inner corners and our brow bone and just use any light shimmer that you can find in your own makeup collection. For blush, I'm going to be using an e.l.f. palette and it is the light palette from e.l.f. And I'm going to be mixing these two shades right here, a little bit of pink and a slight tinge of purple just to accentuate the apples of the cheeks. I'm going to give Ariel a little bit of a highlight that way she looks very glowy and glistening I'm gonna go put on my Ariel wig that way you can see the whole look and not just you know a wig cap and <laughs> mismatching skin um, and then we'll finish off the lips and now finally for the lips, I used two different lip shades to really accomplish Ariel's really nice bright red lips and it's kind of like a mix between a red uh, liquid matte lip and a little bit of like a purple matte lip. Um, this one's from Ulta, it is their matte lip cream and this is the shade Passionate and then this is from Ofra and it's the shade Santa Ana. This is the finished look for Ariel, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed a makeup tutorial that was a little bit different, uh, where you get to transform into somebody else. That's what I love about cosplay and wearing costumes and just, just for a day being able to put on this character, this persona. And I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you enjoy this whole tutorial, and that you can grab some ideas and tips and tricks with you. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel to see more videos. I post videos every Wednesday at 6 and Sunday at 3. Don't forget to follow all of my social media, Instagram and Snapchat, and I hope you guys enjoy it. If you have more requests for other characters that you want to see, um, the makeup being done if you have just other looks in mind please leave a comment down below and I will see you in my next video bye